Niger Republic has authorized Mali and Burkina Faso armed forces to intervene on its territory in case of an attack, the country said in a joint statement on Thursday. This is a possible sign that the junta in Niger Republic plans to keep resisting regional pressure to stand down. The junta military leader Abdurrahman Tishani on Thursday signed decrees that allow Malian and Burkina Faso troops to enter Nigerian territory to help avert a threat, Mali's foreign ministry said in a statement. According to the report, the announcement followed a visit to Niger by Mali's foreign minister Abdullahi Diop and his counterpart from Burkina Faso, Olivia Romba. The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has been trying to negotiate with the coup leaders but warned it is ready to send troops into Niger to restore constitutional order if diplomatic efforts fail. Meanwhile, the regional bloc has enacted stiff sanctions against Niger Republic. On Thursday, the three allies, that is Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger Republic, foreign ministers said they had met in the Nigerian capital, Niamey, to discuss boosting cooperation on security and other joint issues. The statement said the ministers welcomed the signing on Thursday by Niger Junta leader General Abdurrahman Tishani of two orders authorizing the defense and security forces of Burkina Faso and Mali to intervene on Nigerian territory in the event of an attack. The Burkina Faso and Malian ministers retreated their rejection of an armed intervention against the people of Niger Republic, which will be considered as a declaration of war, it stated. You have 48 hours to leave Niger Republic, military junta tells Nigerian ambassadors. The Niger military administration on Friday gave the German, the US and the Nigerian ambassadors 48 hours to leave the country in reaction to the German ambassador Olivia Refusa to reply to an invitation by the ministry for a discussion on Friday, August 25, 2023 at 11 o'clock a.m. and due to other actions of the German government contrary to Niger's interests, the ministry is giving 48 hours to Mr. Olivia, the German ambassador to leave the Nigerian territory, according to a foreign ministry statement. In reaction to Nigerian ambassador Mohamed Usman's refusal to reply to an invitation by the ministry for a discussion on Friday, August 25, 2023, at 11.30 a.m., and due to other actions of the Nigerian government, contrary to Niger's interests, the ministry is giving 48 hours to Mr. Mohamed Usman, Nigerian ambassador to Niger Republic, to leave the Nigerian territory, it says separately. The military junta in Niger Republic also gave the new U.S. ambassador 48 hours to leave their country. U.S. ambassador Kathleen Fitzgibbons, who arrived in the national capital of Niamey last week, was accused of failing to honor an invitation by the ministry for a discussion earlier in the day. The State Department said last week that U.S. Ambassador was to lead a U.S. diplomatic mission and bolster efforts to help resolve the political crisis in Niger Republic. The Niger Military Administration earlier gave the French Ambassador 48 hours to leave their country. French Foreign Minister sent an August 8, 2023 note to express solidarity with Nigerian ambassador in Paris, Ashita Bolama, who refused to leave her position after the military administration took power. Niger was plunged into turmoil on July 26, 
2023 when General Abdurrahman Tishani, a former commander of the Presidential Guide, led a military intervention that ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. Your policy will destroy Nigeria if not reversed, Ahmad Gumi warns Tinubu. Popular Islamic cleric Ahmad Gumi has warned that some policy of the present administration led by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu are capable of destroying the nation if not revisit. In a second video clip posted on his official page, Sheikh Gumi stated that if those tough policies are not reversed, it may destroy even the government. He urged the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to consult experts before implementing certain policies, saying he should not depend on psychophants, according to his words. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you have to revise your policies. If not, they are going to destroy the nation and they are also going to destroy your government. Your political and economic policies, you have to review them. You have to ask people who know better and don't depend on these psychophants. Ahmad Chegumi stated. However, the Nigerian president Bola Ahmed Tinubu has stated that he is under pressure to deploy military force in Niger Republic. He made a statement yesterday. He added that his belief in the peaceful resolution is driving his approach to the issue as chairman of the authorities of head of state and government of the economic community of West African state ECOWAS. Tinubu stated this while hosting top Islamic clerics led by Sheikh Bala Lau at the presidential villa in Abuja. It was the second time that the clerics were visiting the president. The first time they visited was in August 9, 2023. They were granted permission to travel to Niamey and hold talks with the military junta. The president yesterday okayed the clerics' request to continue the talks with the military leaders in Niger Republic. He requested them to expedite action because time is of essence. However, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has further stated that there is so much pressure on him concerning the issue in Niger Republic whether he should deploy military intervention or continue with the diplomatic policy. However, Russian missionaries have arrived in Niger Republic to help protect the country from military intervention. The Russian missionary group Wagner's arrival in Mali along with soldiers armed with ammunition had added complexity to the crisis surrounding the military coup in Niger Republic. The group claimed that its presence in Mali aims to assist the Mali military government in combating terrorists and pursuing other interests as reported by Al Jazeera. Mali and Burkina Faso, both ruled by military juntas, have expressed support for the coup in Niger Republic and have criticized the sanctions imposed by the economic community of West African state ECOWAS and the African Union AU following the coup. They have vowed to stand with Niger Republic against any potential use of force against the junta. To demonstrate their commitment, these nations have reportedly deployed troops to Niamey as a backup for the Niger military reinforcement. ECOWAS has rejected the three-year transition plan proposed by the Niger coup leader, General Abdurrahman Tishani, maintaining the possibility of employing force if diplomatic negotiations fail. The junta has adamantly stated that it will not hit ECOWAS' position. The Wagner's presence in Mali, which shares a lengthy border with Niger Republic, is believed to provide support for the military junta in Niger. The coup leaders had requested assistance from Wagner and Prezongin, 
which confirm his team readiness to offer support to the military junta in Niger Republic. A former Russian official alleged that Wagner and the Russian state conspired to facilitate the military coup in Niger Republic. Russian military blocker Mikhail Jivunk, also known as Raba, claimed that the recent coup in Niger was carried out in close cooperation with Russian special services and private military company consultants. The military junta took control recently overthrowing President Mohamed Bazoum's government and confining him to house arrest in the presidential palace in Niamey. ECOWAS envoy to Niger Republic, General Abdusalami Abubakar, expressed optimism that the situation is unlikely to worsen. He spoke with reporters after a meeting with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Head of State and Government. General Abdusalami Abubakar, a former military head of state in Nigeria, mentioned that he converted the junta's peace terms to ECOWAS and communication between the regional bloc and the Niger military rulers is ongoing. He emphasized that his role as envoy has fostered productive communication. President Bola Metinubu will consult with colleagues regarding the next step. The African Union AU froze Niger's membership and supported ECOWAS effort to reinstate democratic governance. The military junta intends to restore constitutional rule within three years, a plan that West African nations have rejected. <laughs>